Okay, so we've got a terrain uh, kind of built up, but we don't want this default texture here, right? By default, uh, there's just this checkerboard pattern on it, right? And that's not how we, we really think of the world with this checkerboard pattern. So um, one thing I'm going to say before we start doing this is that we should be aware of our, our project, um, kind of our folder system, because as we do this, it's going to add things to, to here, and we don't want to muck up, say if we're in scenes, whatever's open, it will add it to automatically. So I would just make sure we go into assets, I'm going to right click on here and I'm going to say create a folder and uh, maybe I'll call this my assets right and then I'll go ahead and double click and get in there just so I know that when I'm adding things they'll all be kind of in here so I know where to find them later when I need them okay so I'm going to select the terrain and I'll zoom out a little bit and we were just in the the, the paint brush here right and we were razoring lowering the terrain but we want to go into the paint texture and for here, we can pick a material, right, or, or texture, well, we could call the material here, would probably be more proper, um, to add to our terrain. So I'm going to go to this Edit Terrain Layers and say Create a Layer, because we don't have any layers yet. Um, and now these all came in with our standard assets, so I'm actually going to search for grass. Now you don't want these frond type grasses, and we'll see using these later. But we have things like this Grass Hill Albedo and this Grass Rock Albedo, so Albedo is kind of like the... The, the background texture you could think of it. So I'll take this Grass Hill Albedo and I'm just going to double click on it. And when I do that, you see I've filled my entire um, my entire terrain with that as kind of this default texture. Now obviously we don't want it to be all of that. These hills, maybe we want them to be more rocky or sandy or something looking, right? And so for that, we'd have to add a second one. So now notice right here we have this new layer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say edit terrains again and I'm going to say add layer oops nope I'm going to say create layer and this time I'm gonna look for sand albedo and I'll double click on that and now nothing happened right it's just right here next to it um, so basically now I can choose uh, this has become the default I'm gonna grab this sand one right I highlighted it I clicked on it and I have my brush, right, and I can pick whatever brush I want, make it any size and opacity I want. And now I can go ahead and start um, blending this in. Maybe the opacity would be 100, right? Um, start kind of painting it in here to, to bring in our, our sandy texture. And I can go ahead and decide, well, where do I want... Um, whoops. Just having some rendering issues with me recording video and working on it at the same time. And so maybe I've made this whole area a sandy one, right? So you can find these textures. And now when I go in and just hit play, right, we'll see that, oh no, I'm falling. Let's stop. Let's, let's, if you have this problem, right, we've identified a problem. I probably built up wherever, let's find where that sphere is because I know that's where my texture is. So we see I built up right where I was standing and so I was underneath there. So I'm just going to fix that by, um, I could just move the camera, but I'll go ahead and edit the terrain and I'll lower it, right? So I'll hit shift until I see this. There I am. See, it's good to see the problems that can arise and, and how to fix them. So now here I am, I've got my terrain, right? And it works with, uh, right? If we go like, obviously you, we can't walk up this, right? It's just there. Um, and so we'd have to see, uh, obviously, where we place our first camera, how we build things, how high we build the textures, um, and things like that. So we can walk up smaller textures. Um, I should make some smaller textures, right? So let's, let me escape from this. And I want to make this so that I can walk up it a little bit. Um, I'm going to come in here, uh, go into lower, hit shift. Oops. Oh, man. I, I would just have to really play with it. Right, so um, that's our first step. I'm gonna.